Happy Friday, everybody. First off, this is a big thank you to anybody who's clicked the fucking bell, man. I mean, I didn't think, like, it was just a few months ago, somebody was like, yo, you should get a YouTube. Because I be talking shit. Like, the stuff that you see is all the stuff that I would talk about if you knew me. Like, if we were, if we were friends, let's say we wasn't even friends, let's say we worked together. This is what we would be talking about. Like eventually at some point, once rapport gets built, I mean, I try to not really talk about things at work, which is pretty easy when you, when you, you know what I mean? You're not, you know, COVID and all that shit. A lot of us are working from home, but if you're working in a place that you have to leave the house every day, you build rapport with people that you work with. This is the type of shit you're going to talk about. This is the type of shit I would talk about if you knew me, whoever the fuck you are. Um, so I, I thank you. I appreciate you because I mean... You ain't have to come here. It's a whole bunch of people talking about a whole bunch of shit in the ocean that is YouTube. Um, but I appreciate you. It's not a lot, but to me, it's a bunch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even think I was going to get one fucking person to subscribe to anything. You know what I mean? I, I was just like, yeah, okay, I'll throw up a fucking video. Why not? Um. So anyway, you're appreciated. Thank you. I got a fucking story. Listen to this shit. And this is legit. This is legit. I was supposed to have done this. Like this happened probably like a month ago. All right. So me and my girl, we are in the grocery store. It's a Saturday. We're at High V. If you're in a relationship, you be in the store a lot. You know what I mean? You be in a grocery store. You're in a mall. There's always something you're doing because you guys basically are, you know, I mean, you're cohabitating. So we in the store. We're walking in high V and let me just go ahead and set everything up. So when you walk into high V, there's usually like the self checkout and then you have the regular uh, uh, cash, you know, cashiers and whatnot. And then you have like all your frozen fruits. Not frozen fruits, but you got your fresh fruits and your uh, vegetables and all that shit, right? So when you walk in, you see that the cashiers and all that good stuff uh, to the uh, uh, the right. And to the left is, is where all like the fresh produce and everything is. So we go towards the fresh produce. I'm probably explaining too much here, but I'm just, I'm just picturing it in my head. Um, we're going towards the fresh produce. Me and her are walking. I don't know who's pushing the cart. I don't even know how that's irrelevant. But I walk past a couple. Let me describe the couple. The couple is a um, pretty rotund, is the best way I can describe it. Rotund, heavy set. Big body, big built, white woman. And if you're from Kansas City, let me go ahead and tell you what she looked like. She looked like she is from Independence or some shit. She looked like, you know what I mean, Smithville or some shit. You know what I mean? She looked like, <laughs> you got to know your whites. Let me, let me describe your whites real quick. If you're in Kansas City, she looked like an Independence white person just to describe it, but we're not in Kansas city. We're actually in Kansas. I'm telling too much. All right. So I walk past the couple. That's what the woman looked like. The man is a skinny. He's a skinny black man. Looks to be young. She's way older than him. Looks to be young, like a younger dude. I would say he probably like 25. She probably about 45. Looked like she's 65. Um, so it's a bad look all the way around. And this is her man. Her man is a skinny black dude, young dude. Uh, he, he, you know, not, not talking down on this brother, but clearly he looked like he was homeless. I don't know that he was homeless, but he looked like if this brother said he was homeless. Now, I understand the homeless doesn't look like anything. You could have nice clothes on and also be homeless. Right. Um, but but if this dude said, yo, I'm homeless, 
you wouldn't be like, no, you not. You wouldn't say that because this nigga looked like he could be homeless. Not only did he, you know, was he dressed down like that, you know, he could tell he hadn't had his hair cut in a long time. You know, I'm not talking about just a few weeks. I'm telling you, like, it looked like this brother, it's not like he just grown a natural. This brother hasn't had his hair cut in a long time. Let me describe to you what the fuck is happening. This is what we're walking by. And I'm not, I just don't walk around and judge people, man. So for me to describe this now is because I seen what I'm about to talk about and what I'm about to explain. So we walk past him. And I hear, stay in your lane, Russell. Nigga, as soon as I hear this, I look at her, she looks at me, and both of us are trying not to fucking laugh. But it's laughing because it's funny, but it's also laughing because it's like, what the fuck just happened here? Stay in your lane, Russell. I don't know what the fuck Russell said. I don't know what the fuck Russell did, but I know that this woman snapped. Stay in your lane, Russell. And I don't know which one of us is pushing the cart, but the response I hear from Russell is you can tell Russell is embarrassed. Embarrassed that she's making a scene and checking his ass in public. So Russell giggles, you know, that giggle embarrassment, but you kind of embarrassed. So you kind of laugh, trying to laugh the shit off. We've all been embarrassed. Russell embarrassed like a motherfucker, right? So Russell's kind of giggling and he says, oh, okay, I need to stay in my lane. Like kind of like that. Like, oh, okay, I need to stay in my lane. Stay in your lane, Russell. She says it again. And this time Russell shuts the fuck up. And I look at her like, did you hear this shit? She's like, yes. And we're walking to wherever the fuck we're walking in the grocery store. I'm like, holy shit. You know when something happens, but it doesn't happen, like something happens to you and you don't get mad. And this didn't happen to me, but nigga, let me explain. Um, something happens to you and you're not mad immediately, but you get mad progressively as the day goes on. Like, what the fuck did they do? And then it's a problem now because I've had time to sit with it. So as I'm walking through the grocery store, I'm like, what the fuck? fuck is this? I need to fucking pull fucking Russell's coattail. Hey, Russell. And I'm really le legit debating as a motherfucker that is nosy and all in these people business. You know what I'm saying? All in these people business. I want to go over there like Russell. If Russell was in my family, I Russell, get over here, Russell. Think of Russell as your cousin or your little nephew or your son or your brother. Russell, get your ass. Come here. 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 The fuck are you doing letting that big white bitch holler at you like that? The fuck are you doing, Russell? Do you not have no pride? And I think back, his clothes, his hair. What's his living situation? She's probably providing a place for him to live, probably providing food for him. She is probably the basis of his life so she can talk to him like that. Listen to what I'm telling you, man. So often a lot of these women like working on projects because projects are easy to control. Projects are easy to control. A man on his purpose. He not easy to control because I'm trying to tell you, I don't. Um, 
I don't advocate any type of domestic nothing. I've never had no domestic issues. I don't advocate that. I feel like people who love each other, like each other, should keep their hands off each other. But man, had that been me, I'm telling you, nigga, potatoes everywhere, fresh fruit everywhere, vegetables everywhere. Who the fuck are you talking to? And I'm trying to tell you, man, something. Listen to what I'm telling you. You don't ever take no disrespect from no fucking woman publicly. Listen to what I'm telling you here. You don't take no disrespect from a woman publicly. You don't take no disrespect from a woman privately either. Especially if you're trying to be in a relationship with her and you love her, you cannot allow her to disrespect you. And if she casually feels like it's okay to disrespect, then you need to think about uh, repossessing your love. Repossessing all the benefits that you would give this woman if she feels comfortable challenging you in public. But a lot of men, like your self-esteem, isn't 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 like um your self-esteem is not where it needs to be in order to be this way. You know what I mean? So a nigga getting hollered at. See, Russ, what I would want to do is explain to Russell, think about your life, bro. You are in the middle of high V. You ain't had a haircut in probably four to five months from what it looked like because you got the naps on your neck. You look like you ain't had a bath and you look homeless and you are in the middle of high V getting hollered at by a big white bitch. This is where life has brought you. Do you want to continue to depend on bitches? So you got to understand, man, ni niggas that got to uh, lean on bitches. They can't be a certain way. You're leaning on a bitch. You're not going to be able to maintain respect leaning on a bitch. You're not. I'm not going to knock somebody from getting from, uh, 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 let's say you got to, you got to get on your feet and do whatever you need to do, but you better have a fucking plan. Living on bitches should not be the plan because if it is, you end up like Russell ass, you end up like Russell ass getting hollered at. But I don't care necessarily, I mean, come on, a big white bitch, but come on, getting hollered at by a big bitch, period. You should not be getting hollered at by no woman, but come on now, you getting hollered at by a, by, a, by a big body, by a big truck driver built bitch? And you looking at yourself in the mirror and you cool with it? God damn, I wish I'd have told that to Russell, but I just minded my fucking business. And we went and bought our food, cooked, you know what I mean? Bought our food, cooked our shit, and laughed about that shit at the house. But God damn it. Some of you niggas need a brother like me. You need somebody like me or something. You niggas need something. You out here getting hollered at by fat bitches. You know what I'm saying? You getting screamed at by big bitches. How is a big bitch going to run you? You, you niggas is getting hollered at by fat single moms. You letting a fat single mom control your life. You letting a fat single mom cause havoc in your motherfucking life because you depend on this big bitch. You mean to tell me is it, you, you, could, you couldn't go live with a homie for three to four months? Save your fucking money to get away from that big bitch? God damn. Try to be self-aware. I know this may sound offensive, but God, this is exactly how I felt. This is exactly what I seen. And man, man, goddamn, in the world of YouTube, I hope Russell fucking sees this.